This virus is, is clearly a virus that is there to stay unless we eradicate it. And the only way to eradicate such a virus would be a very effective vaccine that is uh, scaled up on every human being, so to say, and every, uh, which we have done with the smallpox, but that's the only example. And that has taken many years. So, so it, will, it will most probably stay. The other thing is that uh, well, it belongs to a family of viruses that we know, the coronaviruses. Uh, the question now that one of the questions is, will it behave like uh, like these other viruses? And they have a more, and that's one of the discussions, and also one of the unknowns. They have a more seasonable seasonable um, um, appearance, reappearance. So they they're more bound to the winter and the spring and the autumn and less the, less in the early summer. But uh, so. We, we will see whether that's, uh, that will have an impact. We know that we that people develop antibodies. That has been clearly um, well shown in, in again in, in the first place in China. But we are not yet sure whether these antibodies or how protective these antibodies are. So most probably uh, antibodies are at least partially protective. But how long will this protection uh, uh, stay, remain? Is it a matter of months or years? So that the, the, the epidemiology in the future will depend on, on, on that. On the level of protective immunity that you get in at the population level, after this wave of uh, infections, which we cannot really stop. I mean, we can mitigate it, we can flatten the curve, but we cannot really stop it because at some point we will have to come out of our houses again and go to work again and go to school again. And yeah, nobody really knows when this moment is.